Now let's do some problems. Here's example one. In the US, the distribution of deaths due to heart disease, uh, 289 deaths per 100,000, uh, standard deviation of 54, and cancer, a mean of 200, standard deviation of 31, are roughly normal. That's very important. Okay, so we know that we could use our normal distribution stuff. In California, 240 deaths are from heart disease and 166 deaths are from cancer per 100,000 residents. Which rate is more extreme compared to the rest of the states, the average for the US? All right, so we have California, California's death rates from heart disease and its death rates from cancer. And we want to know, okay, which of these are really extreme? One way that we could find out is um, by finding out the z-scores. All right, so I'm going to get my Excel out. All right, so let's first start with the U.S. U.S. The U.S. mean for heart disease, so I'll use this row for heart disease and this row for cancer. So the U.S. mean is 289 and the standard deviation, the standard deviation is 54. Uh, for cancer, it's 231. We want to know how extreme the California deaths are. Um, it's hard to compare with just the numbers because even though, uh, even though 240 deaths is less than 289 and 166 deaths is less than, um, certainly less than 200, um, we're wondering how much less, how far away from the mean are you? And one way we could do that is by using z-scores because z-scores will give you the distance in terms of standard deviation. And because these two populations have very different standard deviations, that's worth knowing. And so here's California. heart disease and cancer. And in California, the mean is 240 and 166. And what we might want to know is the z-score. So what is the z-score? So I might just put standardize and put in my x put in the mean that I want to, the population mean, the theoretical mean I want to compare it to, and my standard deviation. Now, obviously, I could also do um, my, me, uh, my x, subtract the mean, put that in parentheses, divide by standard deviation. All right, so here we see that the z-score for heart disease is about one standard deviation away, negative 0.9. Now, how far down is cancer? How much less is cancer? So how much more healthy are Californians in terms of cancer? And for here, I'll, I'll put in my like sort of regular formula just so that we practice that too. So cancer, my cancer X minus the population, the theoretical population divided by standard deviation because I want it in terms of standard deviation steps. Ah, and we find out that cancer, um, and this is probably because the standard deviation is smaller, it actually is sort of out farther um, than heart disease. So the cancer um, rate is more extreme, and more extreme in a positive way. It's more extremely low than heart disease, although they're very close.